White finding his way to the front with the green bike there. In fact, I think he's going to get the whole shot <gasps> as some riders go down. A couple wheels back, few riders getting tangled up in there. He's going to go Brunner, Strohmeyer, Funston in that order. Brunner staying on the gas up here. And Brunner going to go in. He'll be the only guy that takes a bike here. So that'll take him off the front. Looks like he's going to slot into third. That's good news for Curtis White because now he's got Eric Brunner where he wants him. Still trading blows at the front here. Here's Brunner going to try and make a move. He runs out of real estate. He wants to go again. Brunner really wants to get around Curtis White here. <laughs> Of course, I'm sure he'd like to shed all three riders yeah. from this group, but you got to oh, start oh, somewhere. Down goes Brunner. Wow. Brunner. Oh. <gasps> oh, and with a mechanical, he has a drivetrain issue. He's looking at the rear derailleur here. He's going to run it. I think that bike is, oh, he's back on. Can he ride? That's it for Brunner. Oh, no. Oh, no. Brunner still having trouble. That derailleur is hanging down. I think that drivetrain is toast. Strohmeyer once again. Rides the stairs. White taking a new line. He went across the stairs. Sort of a paper boy approach. <laughs> it may not have been intentional. Sometimes you just have to keep going straight in whatever direction. It's amazing how this racing dynamic has changed with the elimination of Brunner from this group. Three guys racing together is a lot different than four. Signaling to the pit, I think, for Funston. Strohmeyer wants a look at it. Strohmeyer looks so strong today. The question is whether he can maintain it for the next 40 minutes, but gosh, he looks really, really vibrant early on in this race. Oh! <gasps> Tight pit boxes together as Strohmeyer passes Funston to get to his pit box, cuts Funston off. Almost loses his bike, car almost car wheels in the process. Really interesting to see the different riding styles, too. This is a well-mannered, uh, conservative, professional, uh, experienced pro in Curtis White riding against two kids who are going absolutely wild on the front of this bike race. Funston going on the attack here. This is what I'm talking about. Catches Strohmeyer off guard. He's like, no time for that, Jill. It's like, I'll get that later. Oh, but Strohmeyer is not going to give up that easily. Going to give one last shot. Brunner wants it here. He goes to the outside, and he'll take it. New leader on course. Back from the mechanical for Eric Brunner, and back to the front of the bike race. Again, Funston still hanging into third. White into fourth. Warner behind them into fifth. So now Andrew Strohmeyer has one lap to try to catch on to Eric Brunner who is mounting one of the most amazing comebacks in Cyclocross National Championship history here. Yeah, and now once you get into this fan area, once yes. they start lining the fence here, that's usually a sign that you are almost there, and they are getting behind Eric Brunner on the way to the finish here. Well, what a ride it was today for Eric Brunner. A comeback for the history books today as Brunner comes back from the mechanical, gets back to the front, and dominates here in Louisville. Your winner in Joe Creason Park with stars and stripes next year for Eric Brunner.